Hi, my name is Ashlyn Zickman, and I'm shooting this video because three years ago, before I became a member, I was struggling to feel prepared for my patient appointments and truly understand how to research, do critical appraisal, and really show up as the best doctor I could be. And now, after joining the Confident Clinician for the past three years, I have a supportive community and a place that I can go for the answers that I'm looking for. I highly recommend The Confident Clinician because it provides a supportive community filled with practitioners who are experts in their field, have strong search skills, and there's a whole library of content that's super easy to access if you're in a pinch and you don't have an answer to something. It just offers so much support in all of those domains. So before working with a confident clinician, I think I was about two years out of school and I remember just feeling confused and often not fully prepared for my appointments and not sure the best way to research and what maybe was information I learned in school that was of the past and not up to date. So I felt very confused and not always confident in what I was doing with patients or what my plan was with patients. So what made me say yes to the confident clinician was I remember being on Instagram and I saw Dr. Jordan Robertson talking about PMS and how, you know, one specific treatment or botanical that we had learned about in school was just not really going to cut it for women and that there were much more updated research back ways to handle PMS. So I remember that condition very specifically being what kind of drew me in because I was feeling like very underprepared with some of those older modalities, maybe not research back modalities that I was using. And so that really brought me in. If there was anything that would have prevented me from getting started, it would have been the cost. I mean, when you're a new clinician and you're trying to build up your patients or your clients, you're not always making a lot of money in the beginning. So I do remember being a little bit concerned about the investment and figured I'll do this for a year, see how it goes. I can always not renew my membership but I just recently renewed my third year and I've always wanted to keep that membership and it's always been worth it. What surprised me the most about the Competent Clinician program was just how many people were involved and how much I've seen it expand over the past three years that I've been a member. I generally joined it just looking to hone in on a few key women's health conditions and it's just expanded so much in terms of its coverage and its its specialty and just all the access and the easy accessibility on your in an appointment of looking certain things up that you may need questions to really quickly. What I am doing now in practice that I wasn't doing before is I have so many things built in to my EMR system directly from the confident clinician that really helped me with time management in terms of my assessments and just making sure I'm covering all my bases. And then in terms of automating certain things into the patient protocol, that's been just one of the biggest game changers for me in terms of time management and just putting some of that stuff in an automated system in my EMR and not having to have it live in my brain all of the time. I recommend the Confident Clinician program because as a naturopathic doctor, I think many of us can agree that you sometimes can feel really lonely and confused by just the amount of modalities that we're taught about in school and that we have to work with. And so having a community that supports the way that you want to treat your patients, I think is so important, not only to get the patient outcomes that you're looking for, but also to support your own mental health as a practitioner. And for me, that was the competent condition is what has really done that for me.